in this tutorial, we are going to look at the overflow property. And I've set up just a couple of content panels here that hold a couple paragraphs, as you can see. And let's just go ahead and take a look at these right now. And there you can see, we have two paragraphs in each one of our main content panels. Now the current state of these is that they do not have a height and width. So they will naturally expand to whatever we put inside there, in this case, text. But let's change things up. What we're gonna do is we'll keep this one uh, the same, but in our second content panel, we will add a fixed height. So let's go ahead and do that. And we'll say height equals 120 pixels. So let's save the style sheet and let's open this up. And you can see now that since we fixed this second content pane at 120 pixels, the text starts rolling off of it because we said stop here at 120. But the text continues to roll off of here. So that's where the overflow property comes into play. We can actually tell the browser to do a couple things when an event like this happens. So let's close this out and let's use the overflow property. So all we do is type in overflow and of course we need a colon. Now there's a couple different options that I like to use here. The first one is to set up a scroll bar. So all we have to do is put in the parameter scroll. We hit save here. And there you can see we have a nice scroll bar that is inserted now and this is handled properly. So that's one parameter that you can use. Now you can also hide the text. And in that event you just use the parameter hidden. So let's save this. And if we open this up, now you can see the text is hidden. So that's another strategy that you can take. Now you can also actually set up inheritance with the overflow property like you can do with any property. So we could stick this up here in the body section and then all of your child elements would have this, uh, what I like to call auto healing mechanism in case something goes wrong. Okay, that is gonna do it for this tutorial.